Ah, uh, hello, welcome back to another American Dead Reaction Mod Season 3, Episode 12, Widowmaker? Okay, I'm very interested in this episode because the title sounds like... Widowmaker sounds familiar. It sounds like a, something, like a movie or something I've heard of. Like, I could be completely wrong. Like, at least a parody of something I've heard of, but I don't know, I could be completely wrong and I'm probably in. Like, I honestly don't even know what to predict. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, it's been like a couple of months since I last watched an episode of this show, so I can, I can't even remember what happened last episode. I mean, let's just get into this. I don't know what else to say. It'll be all right, Julie. I'm sure. Okay, I don't know who up. Julie is. Been missing for three weeks. Okay, yeah, that's Honey, very know. unfortunate. But we knew what we were in for when we became CIA wives. Wait, what? Oh, okay, that makes more sense. <laughs> I just feel so lost without Craig. He was always there for me. Okay, he <laughs> knows something. Or crying or having an especially heavy period. Yeah. It's just not like him to disappear. He'd tell me if he was going. Either he's like perfectly fine and Stan knows, or Stan accidentally killed him or something. God, he tells you everything he shares with you. Uh. Yes, everything <laughs> is home. For what the fuck? Okay, no, I'll still be able to see you, Stan. Huh? Hi, Stan. <laughs> yeah, you're not very fucking Hi. hidden. How was work? Fine. Anything exciting happen? That's confidential. Dinner? Oh my god. Monday night football. Yeah, I'm not that surprised that fucking Stan. Would be telling people shit. Julie seems pretty Julie, sure something yeah. bad happened to Craig. Hmm. Stan, Craig is your friend. How do you feel about that? Sucks. Damn it, Stan, <laughs> how come you never share? You yeah, never Colin talk did... to me. What's that a talk? Even like he just does not care to tell, or there's a lack of reason. Roger Smith, pretend psychiatrist. Okay. Sounds like you could use my help. Roger, you can't just throw a wig on and call yourself a doctor. <laughs> I'll have you know, I studied at the feet of the master. Okay. Dr. Phil. It's Dr. Dr. Phil. <laughs> okay, Oprah, sure. Oprah, 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 Oprah. My card. Fucking Oprah and Dr. Phil. Dr. Phil is such a strange show. You girls want some sugar water, huh? Beatrice, okay. Beatrice. Beyonce, Fuck and me. the pride of the hive, Queen Jamie oh. B. Curtis. Okay. For a second, I was about to say what happened to the, you know, the bee. Steve, the science fair was months Central. ago. Get rid of those filthy insects. Don't Ooh. listen to him. He's just... Why not release them into, you know, an actual fucking beehive? Rather than leaving them in a jar. <laughs> well, oh my god. Ah, what have you done? Relax, you freak. It's just a bee. I'm glad that whore buggy... <laughs> okay, I thought Haley was like the type of, you know, for the environment. I didn't think should be fine with just squashing a queen bee. Are you gonna fucking say anything at all? You like staring at those hands, <laughs> don't you, Mr. Soprano? Okay. That's it. Stan, he was just Honestly, attention. I kind of somewhat agree with Stan there. I'd be fucking like, what the fuck, and leave as well. <sighs> okay, if we're gonna get you to open up, Stan, we're gonna have to use some unconventional methods. Such what as? What thinking, Roger? What, hypnosis? Shock therapy? <laughs> reverse psychology? <gasps> Forward psychology. Okay. No, I'm gonna use something far more effective and cutting edge. Which is feelings. <laughs> okay. We're gonna do a communication exercise. Okay. In nature, a horse will not offer you his hoof until you gain his trust. And to do that, you must communicate from your heart. Go ahead and okay. open your eyes. Hello. <laughs> I'm Clip Clop. What the f Okay, you do realize he's not a real fucking horse, right? Give me your foot. It's a hoof, and you have to earn it. Give me your damn <laughs> hoof! Nay, nay, you're spooking me. <clears throat> oh my god, Jesus! <laughs> Roger's surprisingly good at this, though. I mean, to be fair, no, I actually do understand what Roger's saying. This does make a lot more sense, and it does show, like, Stan's way of communicating. Just a bug, huh? Filthy insects. Oh, they'll see. Oh, God. They'll see the true power of the bee. You what is he going to do? My sweet. Imagine if the bees are still alive and he fucking lit it on fire. Ew, I, I could not drink just straight honey. It's so hard. What the fuck? Why does Steve have such a good singing voice? Like, it's. This is like the second or third time. Francine, I think he's about to make a breakthrough. Oh, okay, shit. What the fuck? Stan, Francine is here. Francine? I'm here, Stan. Someone wants to come in, Stan. I'm... I'm scared. Tell him you want to come in and you have a present. 
I want to come in and I have a present. Okay. What's the present? Love. It's love, Stan. It's love and it's very heavy and I'd like to come in and put it down. You can come in, Francie. Okay. You're I don't know what the hell happened. Like what Roger did in order for this to actually work. What the hell? My favorite color is blue. Oh, shit. My lucky number is three. My favorite movie is The Burbs, and I'm terrified of fountains. They're Whoa. unnatural. <laughs> to force a rainbow angers God. Okay, oh, sure. Stan, now you're sharing just like Craig did with Julie. This is exactly what... Honestly, this is... Uh, the fact that Roger was actually able to do this is actually very fucking interesting. I feel like I can tell you anything, Francine. Even my deepest, darkest secret. Oh, God. Oh, Stan. If what, what, is this gonna be something that okay. like you she doesn't actually want to hear? I know where your friend Julie's husband is. You do? Oh, that's great! She'll be so relieved. Where is he? Buried in a construction site. Oh. What? Yeah, I killed him. <laughs> I fucking at the start of the episode, I caught it. I thought it was gonna be something like that. I I fucking said that he what he probably killed him. You you really did that to Julie's husband? Sure did. Killed him. Kill the crap out of him. Hey, Cap, what? Craig was your friend. Yeah, why did he kill him? How could him? you do this? I had to. He told Julie everything, so the CIA designated him a blabbermouth. Oh. That's why they made me stab him in the throat. Jesus Christ. Oh my God, they're going to fucking send someone to kill Stan now, aren't they? Look, I don't want to hear any more of your sharing. I was wrong, okay? I, I, I can't be around you right now. But the spigot's on. I find it interesting, cause considering like a couple episodes ago, Stan, the show has never killed anyone, but at this point, he's obviously just fine with it. <laughs> Julie, you're here with Stan. <laughs> Francine, you never told me your husband was such an open book. <laughs> yeah, that's been a recent development, Julie. It's me of Craig. I hope he's okay. He's there, not. There, Julie, I'm sure he's fine. Yeah. I can feel it. <laughs> In here. Yeah, sure. Honey, can I talk to you? Yeah, don't give this lady false hope. Only after what you did to her husband. You're the one who wanted me to share. Okay, surely she can hear this. Like, surely they're not that much further away from her. She was good. Okay, he's just a full-on fucking beekeeper in the house. She was a queen of the people. Approachable, yet regal. <laughs> and funny. Is that a beehive? You got more- Yeah, how the hell did he manage to get all this shit? <laughs> Dr. Roger Smith. Roger, I need some advice. Sorry, I've got something in my teeth. Oh my God. Continue. I don't know what to do. I don't want Stan sharing with me anymore because, well, it, it's... Yeah, a lot. Francine, Julie's searching for a man to fill the role of her missing husband. I mean, yeah, honestly, fair enough with that. Fits. So what do I do? Sure, Stan's not perfect, as I recall. Yeah, how the hell are you going to do that without... You know, a bitty that he killed her husband. Stan wanted me to let you know that instead of coffee at our house today, he wants to meet you at the park instead. Okay. Yeah. What if he fucking accidentally kills her or something? Like, sh does whatever instead of the duck, it's with her. <laughs> Wait, what the fuck? Okay, I guess he's fine with the others now. <laughs> and he's just been pissed on by an angel, apparently. What the hell is going on? Francine! You're supposed to be freaking out! I'm sharing all my fears with Jules and she's helping me conquer them. Oh, okay. You're drinking frozen lemonade now too? Eating. You eat ice. That's I mean, Stan. I, yeah, I'm I guess so. I'm spending every waking moment with Julie. Francine, show some compassion. Her husband is- Yeah, because of you. Yes. Oh, hi, Julie. I'm surprised Stan didn't tell you he's out of town on business. Oh, he did. I'm just dropping off some Tangelos for when he gets home. Some what? His immune system gets a little weak when he travels. Okay. He was a preemie, you know. I know that. <laughs> Stan tells me about that every time we make love. Sure. Forever. Yeah. And besides, shouldn't you be looking for your missing husband instead of getting Tangelos for mine? <laughs> Jesus. Look, I understand you're upset because your relationship with Stan isn't all you want it to be, but... Well, it's not my fault he tells me everything. He doesn't tell you everything. Oh my gosh, she gonna fucking blab about Stan killing her husband. Did he tell you he killed your husband? <gasps> oh my god. I'm I'm so sorry. I the, the CIA made him. I, I, I wasn't supposed to. Uh, I'm going to the police. Yeah, uh, well. If this gets to the CIA, they'll kill Stan for being a blabbermouth. Then maybe you'll see what it's like to lose your husband. Oh. oh. I already lost Stan once. 
at a flea market. <laughs> I won't lose him. <laughs> what the fuck is she gonna kill and kidnap her now? Jesus Christ. Hey, how's it going? Oh, fine, fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> what was that? Nothing. Just killing a rat with a tambourine. Well, I was just calling to check in. Laos is a <laughs> fucking tambourine. I found that blabbermouth, but when I do, I'm gonna kill him so bad, death will throw me an ice cream party. Stan. Maybe all blabbermouths don't have to die. Maybe the CIA can be reasoned with. Yeah, no, they definitely oh, cannot. Scene. Sweet night. Like, I honestly wouldn't be surprised if they do this kind of shit in real life. I'm just gonna be honest. Oh my god, is he gonna fucking make the bees attack them? Which, how the hell is he actually going to do this? What the fuck? Okay. At the ready, boys. Your larvae will sing songs Apparently he's just becoming a bee. Is this the new fucking Barry Benson? Oh wait, they're actually- oh! <laughs> For a second I thought they were actually going to listen, but I guess not. I don't know what he was expecting, to be honest. Julie's tied up in the basement? <laughs> Roger, I had no choice! Stan's life is in danger because I opened my mouth! So, how are you gonna kill her? What? I can't kill her! I mean, yeah, what, what are you going to do, though, to be honest? I understand what you're looking for. A coherent, ethical, compassionate approach to a complex problem. I mean, sure. You should totally kill yourself. <laughs> oh my god. That's the route he went at, okay. What? Stan, if the CIA finds out you blabbed to me, they'll kill you. No one's gonna die. Well, Julie's dead. <laughs> what? <gasps> oh my fucking god. <coughs> oh. What are you doing? I want to die. Your husband's not dead. What? Wait, what? Craig is alive? Yep, he's in Laos. Laos? But you said you killed him. Yeah, that was all an elaborate ruse. Let me explain. Wait, what? While you thought Roger and I were working on my issues, we were actually figuring out a way to get you to stop badgering me about all this sharing business. Okay. Our plan was simple. I would start by telling you a bunch of small, made-up secrets, thus gaining your trust. That way, you'd believe me when I drop the big bomb. I still can't... Why? I, I'm not surprised, though. In all honesty, but this is such a fucking elaborate plan. If you didn't want to share your feelings, why did you spend so much time with Julie? I was just doing Craig a solid. I was keeping her busy so that he could slip into their house and get all his National Geographics. <laughs> the, the man's been collecting Natty G's since 78. But then, why did you go to Laos? To visit Craig. He lives there now with his new wife, Pyong. Oh, wait, what? Farmer. Lovely woman. Okay. Doesn't speak a lick. So he ba is he just fucking trying to divorce her without, you know, actually trying to divorce her? Some men just can't share. Like I mean, you. I guess so. It's just not in your nature. I guess I'm just not a touchy-feely guy. I mean, I guess so. But still, this is still such a fucked up elaborate plan. Orange. What? My favorite color is orange. Oh, yeah, I was gonna say, Stan could at least put in a little bit of effort. Too. Yeah, I feel sorry for this woman. I still can't believe that. He did say he did actually fucking kill him. He was just cheating on his wife and then did want her to find out. And then remarried within, like, what, a month? Because I'm guessing it was three weeks. But, like, they said three weeks at the start of the episode. But I'm guessing it was a bit longer afterwards. But, oh, my God. And, like, do you know what's the most fucked up bit of that? Roger knew that Stan didn't actually kill the fucking... That, that woman's husband, but he, he was still trying to just make her kill herself, like trying to convince her to do that, which that's fucked. But oh my god, I don't know why I didn't see something like this coming. Like, I genuinely believed that Stan was telling the truth. Like, I, I was kind of surprised that Roger was actually able to make some big breakthrough. But like, I feel like at that point I should have been a bit suspicious in all honesty. And then there was the B plot with Steve and the fucking bees, which the thing I found funny about that is the fact that they just end up, you know, stinging him in the end, after all that, and then Haley and, what's his name, Klaus are just watching, like, oh yeah, this is entertaining. But, oh my god, I don't, I still can't believe that all of that was, like, fake. Like, I thought that the CIA was gonna, like, kill Stan for blabbing. Like, the fact that Francine literally, like, fucking knocked her out and had him tied up in the basement was both fucked, but it was kind of funny. No, but that was a good episode. I, I gen genuinely did not expect that twist at the end. Like, that actually caught me off guard, I'm not gonna lie. But yeah, I mean, besides that, I don't really have anything else to say, so I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.